again it's me i'm stressed and i'm making noodles these are the noodles that we're making the kimchi bolding ones spicy i think i figured out that noodles are my stress food and you guys have seen how much noodles i've eaten um in the past several years <laughs> so there's a lot of stress in this body but i feel like like the stress is so uncalled for like it's so unnecessary because what is the point in stressing do you know what I mean? There's like absolutely no point to stressing. So I feel like I'm getting stressed about being stressed because I'm like, what's the point in stressing? So there's just a lot of stress, just a lot of stress. If someone could come write my thesis for me, that would be fantastic. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon though. Um, I also don't know what to film for you guys. I wish I could film something that's a bit more entertaining. You guys have been seeing the same thing for months now, but um, this is all I've got right now. So I think I'm just gonna vlog bits and pieces throughout the next week and um, string together a weekly vlog for you guys. Uh, so hi, welcome to a chaotic week in my life. As a final year PhD student trying to finish my goddamn PhD thesis. If you're new here, hi, hello. I'm Katie. I am a final year PhD student at the University of Edinburgh. I am documenting this final stretch of my PhD journey. I've been doing this for far too long, but the end is near. And basically, yeah, like I said, I'm stressed. I'm stressed because I'm stressed, but I'm also stressed about the fact that I'm stressing because stress gets you absolutely nowhere. So I'm just making myself a nice bowl of noodles to calm myself down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan on going in on all the ins and outs of my thesis and like my journey with this final part of my PhD after I've submitted my thesis. So you'll get you'll get like a behind the scenes vlog once I've actually submitted because I can't be bothered going into much detail about it right now. So yeah, expect a behind the scenes vlog after I've submitted my thesis if that ever happens. Right now, it feels like that's never going to happen. But that's not the attitude that we need. <laughs> so right now we're focusing on writing my main three chapters of my thesis. And we want them pretty much written up this week. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I really badly, really, really badly want it to happen, but I don't know if it's going to. Right now I feel like my thesis is gonna be too short, but I don't know. I just basically have zero faith in myself right now. <laughs> Another thing is I've just kind of been neglecting everything else in my life, like my relationships, my health, my hobbies everything. Like I really want to get my health back into check. I gained a lot of weight last year and I want to do something about it but I keep stopping myself from doing anything about it <laughs> because I have a thesis to write. Like I could do both. I could eat healthy, I could exercise a little bit more and do my thesis. I'm perfectly capable but my body and brain are just like nope, 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 nope. We'll just, we'll deal with that later we'll deal with that later so um yeah i'm saying this while i'm eating noodles this is what i mean like I, i'm just neglecting myself and instead just fulfilling my soul at the moment it just kind of feels like everything's a bit chaotic at the moment I'm trying to stay cool calm and collected but i am neither of those three things so to open but I'm not gonna open it yet. We're gonna do some writing first. I'm gonna make a little to-do list for the day. I might make myself like a goal of how many pages to write or how many words to write. Like is it unrealistic to write 10 pages today? Also my coffee just isn't the same without banana flavour. Just like 
Also, I haven't been outside in a few days now, so I think one of today's missions is to go on a little walk or something. Just go outside. <laughs> here and I found this which I actually bought ages ago but I just never I like put it away somewhere and never put it onto my Fitbit so I don't know if you guys remember but I wore this like this is the strap that the Fitbit comes with but this strap like irritates like I don't know if you can see that there but it really irritates my wrist and like in the middle of the night I'll be like scratching my wrist and like I end up just taking this off when I'm sleeping because it's really irritating. I just think that this material doesn't work well with sweat on my skin. So this is the strap that it comes with. It's like a silicone-y material. I must have got this Fitbit like four years ago, something like that. Um, but I bought a strap that's like soft woven material and I had that on this for four years, which I've put in the bin now because it's disgusting. So that's why I put this old one back on. But I'm gonna put this one on now. Because this is like a like soft material, which should hopefully be better on my skin. It's very colourful, which isn't really the vibe that I'm going for now. But I mean, if it's better on my skin, then I'll just deal with it for now and get like a more nude coloured one at a later date. But uh, these are so fiddly, especially when you're like me and you have no nails. Oh, I need like a... now i kind of hate how it looks though but um it does feel a lot nicer i need to find like a i don't know what color i want black or do i want like a nude i really liked the one i had last time because it was like multicolor, but it was like pastel so it was like less in your face whereas this one's a bit more in your face oh i do like how it feels though oh this one just feels so and I kind of like that it's like elastic. What do you guys think? Let me know. Already feels a million times better. Anyway, sorry, that was a little sidetrack from work. Guys, we've made it. Beside me is the outdoors. Can you believe it? I'm going to go for a walk now. Got my headphones. <sighs> Let's go. Hello, we're back from our walk. It is super windy today. Oh, it's super windy. Also, the water is so choppy. It's like crashing against the side of the Esplanade bit and I was walking at the side nearest the water and I got absolutely splashed. But it dried off because it's uh, sunny. So yeah, I feel so much better for it. If only I would go outside every day. Like my body would love myself. I just feel so much better when I get outside for a walk. I might set myself a wee like step challenge or something for March just to get myself out every day because I know that if I don't like there's no chance I'm going outside for another five business days at least like <laughs> I'm just so bad at because once I'm outside it feels good but it's like disciplining slash motivating myself to actually get my butt out the door you know what I mean? So yeah, I might set myself a wee step challenge. Maybe not 10,000 steps, maybe more like 8,000 steps because I do have a thesis to write. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and make some food now. It also, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good guys. It's like 5 p.m. right now. Hopefully there's no traffic on the way home. But yeah, it's 5 p.m. right now and it's still super light outside. What? It's the 29th of February today. March begins tomorrow and I love this time of year. Like I think because December, January, February, like the winter season hits me so hard. There's something just so exciting and so uplifting about this time of year. All that's happening is the days are getting longer and lighter and it just feels, it feels good, you know? Everything feels chaotic in my mind regarding my PhD, but I'm feeling that end of February sparkle, that spring is coming sparkle.
that light's really annoying. Is it ugly? Oh, we'll just deal with that. Is that better? That's better for now. For dinner? Bacon. I'm trying this vegan tuna, which I'm a little scared of, to be honest. It's been sitting in my cupboard for goodness knows how long. I don't but think it's, it's been that long, to be fair. The best before date is March 2024. Oh, Lord. Which is the reason... Sorry, I'll wait for the second tap off. Oh, Lord. Yeah, the best before date is the is March 2024, which is the reason I'm eating it, because it's literally March tomorrow. So I just don't know how this is going to be. But let's give it a try. I'm going to have it with some rice and broccoli. A real bro meal, do you know what I mean? I can't open it. Can you open this can? Oh, no, wait, I've got it. Oh, gosh. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Oh. Oh, it's not vegan tuna, it's tofu chunks. Okay, that makes it less scary. I don't know what, I don't know what my brain made it think it was tuna. It literally says tofu right there. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I haven't eaten this sooner then. I think I was leaving it in my cupboard because I was scared of the fact that it was tuna, but it's not tuna, it's tofu. That's less scary. Well, that'll go well with them. Um, Rice and broccoli. Let's try a little bit. Can you eat it like this? I assume you can. It's in a can, so... That's alright, actually. After all, we said the broccoli. I'm trying something new this morning. I've got the... I wanted the bagel, but they didn't have the bagel, so I got the muffin. Hi, happy Friday. It's about lunchtime right now. Mark's off getting a haircut. And guys, I did something. I said I was gonna wait, but I could not wait. I made myself an order. We went far too long without, so... Seems only necessary that we make a wee purchase. I use these banana flavor drops in my coffees and in my banana protein shakes. They're both empty. I've been using this toffee one in my porridge in the morning, empty. And this was the final straw. These two, I've been living without banana flavor drops for maybe like a month now. I've been surviving, not happily but we've been surviving. But running out of the toffee one was like the final straw. Because I had porridge a couple days ago without this and it just wasn't the same. So I made myself a little porridge <laughs> And I maybe took it too far. I maybe got seven flavor drops, but you know what? We will use them. I didn't get one, not two, not three. <laughs> Guys, I got four. Do I need four? Probably not, but like I got four. Maybe this will be like a year supply? A year supply of banana flavor drops. <laughs> then I got some different ones to try for my porridge. I got this white chocolate one, butter biscuit, and plain old vanilla. I'm really excited about the butter biscuit one, especially because I have caramelized biscuit oats. So I feel like they'll be good together. 
I kind of want to make a coffee now just so I can use my flake drops. <laughs> But also I kind of do need a coffee because I'm feeling really tired this morning. I only had four or five hours sleep last night and I used to be someone who could handle four or five hours sleep but apparently now I'm not. I don't know whether to try one of my new ones. Yeah, one of these tiny bottles has a minimum 100 servings. 100 servings? That's like 100 coffees, 100 bowls of porridge, basically 100 dates. I might open this one first because I'm most intrigued about butter biscuit. But do I want to put that in my coffee right now? Or do I want banana? I think I want banana. Maybe I'll try this with my porridge tomorrow morning. When Mark comes back, I think, we're thinking of going to the gym, guys. I know, me going to the gym, what? Mark gets a, Mark gets like a weekly, not a weekly. He gets like a monthly guest pass thing so he can take a guest with him once a month at his gym. So I think I'm gonna use his guest pass and go with him today. As I've been saying, I'm trying to get into a healthier routine. It's also, it's March today. New month, new me. <laughs> it's also my birthday month. Woo! I think I am going to employ that step challenge just because I think it'll keep me accountable and it'll actually make me go outside. Oh, guys, what do I want? Do I want, do I want biscuit or banana? I can't decide. I think I won't be on that. Oh, I love it. That fresh bottle feeling. One, two. We'll go for seven today. Treat ourselves. Seven little droplets. Oh, I ran out of oat milk. I'm using this. I don't usually use this in my coffee. I usually use this in my porridge and cereal and like protein shakes and things like that but we're just gonna add a little bit of that yeah i don't know what to do at the gym today because i haven't been to a gym in a hot minute and like i'm scared of doing anything at the gym. so i don't really know what i'm gonna do let's have our first sip of banana flavor drops together oh she's back I will let you know if we go to the gym. I have a feeling that I might just go on the treadmill because I'm scared of doing anything else, but it is a Friday afternoon, so maybe it'll be quiet. I don't know. Does, do people go to the gym on a Friday afternoon? I hope not. <laughs> Guys, I've made it. I'm actually at the gym. We're back from the gym. From the gym. And we're putting on pizza. Pizza party Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. Pizza party. I'm having this pizza, which I used to have this pizza all the time when we lived in Kirkcaldy. I fear I'm cooking baking myself. Asta's roasted veg and hummus pizza. And I, I, have, I legitimately haven't had this in like two years, so I'm very excited. Very excited. Also, it's two pounds, right? And four years ago, it was like one pound seventy-five. So it hasn't gone up that much in the coffee lips. That's what she looks like. Ooh, vegetables. Oh, that was too much there. Oh god. Pizza oil drizzle. Mm. Chili, oregano, and garlic. Really? Or oregano for you Americans out there. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I hate these lids so much. Oh, please fit. Oh, it does fit. The Fanta strawberry kiwi. Never tried this before, but we're the first time for everything. Okay, let's do stuff. Refreshing. That's quite nice. The kiwi cuts through there. I'm gonna watch Apprentice in the Sidemen documentary. Hello, I'm stressed. <laughs> it's Saturday and I'm really, I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done for Monday and I'm just a bit stressed. I've got a birthday that I'm supposed to be going to tonight, but I don't know. I haven't had a free weekend in so long, which is so weird because I feel like the start 
of the year, January, February is normally like a quiet time of the year, but for some reason I've been busy like for the past several weekends and I really could probably just do an evening to myself working on my thesis. But it is someone's 30th birthday and it's a family member and like I don't want to not go, you know? But also I really need to get this thesis done and I'm really stressed and I feel like if I do go I'm just going to be stressed and agitated the whole time. <laughs> so I don't know how much fun I will be. We're going to see how much I get done this afternoon. If I get like a satisfactory amount done, I will go and if not, I will probably give it a miss. I went to the gym yesterday and we played tennis for 45 minutes and then I was on the treadmill for like half an hour. I did like a 3k run on and off and then kind of just walked on an incline for a bit because my stamina is like not good anymore. I am so unfit, I'm so unhealthy. I need to build it back up again, but um, baby steps, etc, etc. But my legs today are so sore. Oh my goodness, they're so sore. I think I'm gonna make another coffee and get back to work. I watched the Sidemen documentary yesterday, by the way, and I, I quite liked it. Although my one qualms with it was I really think it would have been interesting to hear more about like the beginning of their story and their initial growth as a group. Anyway, it was great. Go watch it. Um, even if you don't watch the Sidemen, I think it's interesting to watch a documentary about like a massive YouTube group. I just think it's super interesting. So I would recommend it. Give it a watch. Well, we also watched the post office CDs it's so sad and makes you like hate humanity <laughs> um anyway i'm gonna stop blabbing now and then i'm gonna get back to writing because i have been on a bit of a roll this morning so i'm gonna carry on with the productivity <laughs> guys we got to the job. Mm. <laughs> i've never tried to chew this from taco bell before i don't think and they came with this caramel sauce. Ooh. Oh, they're good. Guess what? Can anyone guess? I've been... I've been a little stressed. It's been a few days since I spoke to you, but I feel, felt like I needed to round off the vlog somehow. I've got my hood up because A, it's cold. B, I haven't washed my hair in like six days. I have wrote about 12,000 words this week. That's a lot of words. The thesis is coming together, but my mental health is not. <laughs> it's been a week. I didn't go to that 30th birthday that I told you about. Haven't really left the flat in several days. Remember a few days ago when I was like, oh yeah, it's March tomorrow. Let's start a step challenge. I'm feeling really good. We're gonna go outside every day. We're gonna get some exercise in every day. Remember when I said that? Yeah, that didn't happen. We did super well on the Monday. Uh, not on the Monday, on the 1st of March, we got 11,000 steps. And then Saturday and Sunday we got like one to two thousand that was just walking around my flat probably <laughs> this week i mean i haven't really been wearing my fitbit much but um this is steps this week <laughs> so the new month new me thing is not like, working i basically don't think i'm going to be a proper functioning human being until i've got this thesis done thank you if you've watched this far into this weekly vlog i hope these vlogs aren't getting too boring for you leave a comment telling me what you're excited about for this year I'm excited to hand in my thesis. Yeah, love you all lots. Thanks for being here as always. Thanks for sticking around. Love you, appreciate you. And I will see you in the next chapter. <laughs>